CFW is really a motivation for a designer to come up as, out as a designer. CFW is a great opportunity for me and it's like something dream come true. Uh, the experience through CFW as an emerging designer, it has helped me to become a more professional designer coming off from college, having all these ideas and CFW has actually helped me to become this as a professional, paid, well-known designer in Sri Lanka, having my identity. We're delighted to be a sponsor here at Glamour Fashion Week, uh, South Beach Willy Glamour, and uh, it's just done so well here. So professional, so much talent. It's wonderful to see it all coming to life. And uh, it's just an event that's gone from strength to strength. And, uh, you know, we're really proud to be associated uh, with it. I, I think one of the most interesting things about Colombo Fashion Week is that they offer young emerging designers a platform on which they can show and grow and I think that's very very important because how many people give youngsters a chance definitely not fashion weeks so when you see students graduating from institutes and coming out into the market you see them do a lot of crazy work but with Colombo Fashion Week I think that they were offered a platform on which they could learn discipline and on which they could learn commercial aspects of design because design is not always about creating these wild, crazy clothes that are going to make an impact on stage and then nobody wants to wear them. But it's about balancing your vision with creating a commercial line of clothes that will actually sell to customers one day. And I must appreciate the fact that Ajay Veer Singh has consistently managed to offer this platform to youngsters in Sri Lanka. And many of them over the years I have seen have become top designers. And that's always wonderful to see that happen. So being back in Sri Lanka is like a dream come true. I've often considered and told people that I consider Colombo and Sri Lanka my second home. And I just love the fact that I'm back because at one point during the pandemic, we thought that it's never going to change, that we're all going to stay locked into our own countries and never be able to travel again. And now to be back in Sri Lanka and be with all the lovely people and the many friends that I've made. I've been here now for 23 years. I've been working in Sri Lanka and coming back for 23 years and it's, it's like coming home again. I just love it here. It's a great platform for up and coming uh, young designers. Um, there's a lot of talent, uh, fashion industry talent in this country and this is a great platform for it. Colombo and its people, Sri Lanka, it's a beautiful country, very warm people, great hospitality and um, a fantastic event. It's really fantastic to be a part of this uh, initiative and especially being a part of the uh, more responsible Green Fashion Week to bring more attention to uh, being more responsible and uh, more sustainable as fashion creators we need to really support and push um, awareness and encourage and inspire um, young creators as well to be a part of this movement. Right. Sri Lanka has fabulous and very talented designers, but we have to go out and show our connections. That's what happened when I went to Rome and uh, they didn't call me Kamel, they said Sri Lankan designer. So I was very happy about it and very proud about it. 
and then I did uh, Dubai Fashion Week. That was the same. They were like, who is this like Sri Lankan designer? But they like my collection. So I know that we have fabulous, talented designers. They have to go out and showcase their collections. And Sri Lanka, like we have to be proud what we have, and we don't have much facilities. But yet, we all try to do something different. Because they're women who work in fashion, so they can't be 